So with the questions on your mind, uh, what you should do with a housing situation. Maybe you're getting ready to sell your property, maybe you're moving to Florida, maybe you're moving somewhere else in the country, and you need a place to live, right? Everybody needs a place to live. So are you gonna look at an apartment? Are you gonna look at a single family home? Or maybe, are you gonna look at a mobile home? If you've never thought about a mobile home, then it's definitely something to consider. Today in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna discuss if buying a mobile home in the year 2023 is something that you should be doing, uh, or is it something you should just go ahead and skip over and look to another housing situation, whether that's an apartment, a single family home, or something like that. So thank you so much for joining us, and we're gonna review that topic and more here today. Guys, this is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video, get educated on the topics that we cover here on the channel. Everything about buying, selling mobile homes, investing in mobile homes, uh, learning more about the mobile home park industry, or some of our other listings that come up that we sell on a regular basis. So thank you so much for being a part of the community. And if you haven't yet done so, please do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel below so that you're up to speed with everything that we have going on here at the Mobile Home Dealer as that helps us out quite a bit. And then you're alerted anytime one of our videos hits the channel so that you can be brought up to speed in real time. So with that being said, I'm gonna walk up this uh, staircase and hopefully I don't uh, fall and, uh, and bust my noggin as I'm talking to you today. And we're gonna go over why you should maybe consider a mobile home or maybe you should not consider purchasing a mobile home. Before we even get to that topic, we first gotta discuss what's going on in the real estate world. You know, what, what, what are we talking about? Are you looking to buy a house? Unless you're living under a rock, then you're gonna be very well versed in everything that is going on in the real estate world. Uh, Obviously, we're very familiar with the interest rates. Uh, at the time, depending on when you watch this video, at the time uh, that we're shooting this video, interest rates for a traditional 30-year mortgage are gonna be over 6%. Uh, now, if you, if you lived uh, in the 10% interest rate era back in the 80s, then this is probably still a good deal for you. Uh, if you were looking at purchasing a mobile home, or excuse me, a single family home, uh, back even as, as short as a year ago, we were looking at that two, 3% interest rate uh, on a 30 year loan. So it's definitely increased. What does that mean? Well, that means that if you do take out a loan uh, for your living situation, it's gonna cost more money now to borrow that money uh, each month with your monthly payment. So if you're renting, if you're buying a house at 3% a year ago, and now you're buying a house at six, six and a half percent, that monthly payment is gonna be quite a bit more. Uh, so your budget may not nearly go as far. The second thing is we gotta look at the price of single family homes and where are those at? Well, those have increased quite a bit as well. A statistic that we pulled off uh, ushomes.com is that the average price right now in the United States for single family home is $428,000. So over 400 grand is gonna buy you your average single family home in the United States, okay? So now we're looking at high interest rates. If you're not a cash buyer and you don't have another 400 grand sitting around uh, and you need to borrow money to purchase the property, we're looking at a $428,000 average purchase price. Now folks, this is average. Okay, so you're obviously gonna find homes that are less, homes that are more, homes that are right around that four and a quarter. Okay, this is just an average number. So we're looking at an average price of four and a quarter, 428 technically and interest rates that are increasing, you know, six, six and a half percent at the time of this recording. So you've gotta be conscious of that. That's what we're walking into if you're looking for a single family home. Uh, on a regular basis, we deal with folks uh, who find us on the channel uh, through our other social media outlets, and uh, they, 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 they're they getting priced out. They're getting priced out uh, of the market for the single family home. They weren't looking at a mobile home uh, initially, but uh, maybe they're looking at a condominium, townhome, or a single family property. And just the cost uh, and the interest rates and the cost of the property uh, that, that they've been priced out of the market. And they started introducing the idea of uh, living in a mobile home, you know, either for a long-term uh, stay, short-term stay, you know, what have you. But now they're looking at that. So the other thing we want to be conscious of is if you're in a position where you're looking to rent I'm sorry, we got, we're, we're doing the video early today here, guys. So, you know, sun's still coming up. And that's just, that's just uh, the high-end the, the high uh, video quality you get on this channel. So I'm sorry for the, the blast of sun there in the back. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about rent, 
Okay, maybe you're looking at renting a house. You know, maybe you're looking at renting a, an apartment, an apartment home, something like that. Well, uh, we just pulled statistics this morning. Uh, average, okay, average, uh, two bedroom uh, apartment in the United States right now is one thousand two hundred and seventy-two dollars. Okay, I'm not a math major. It's not I went, not what I went to school for. So let's just call it thirteen hundred bucks, just for argument's sake. Okay, so now we're looking at a thirteen hundred dollar average, average apartment rent for a two bedroom apartment. Now, if you're watching the channel and you're in a major city, you know, we have a lot of folks on New, uh, who live in New York who watch this channel, a lot of people down in Texas, you know, Dallas area, they, you know, 1200 bucks, 1300 bucks, that might be a deal to you. Uh, other folks who live in the Midwest, uh, you know, 1300 bucks may sound awfully salty, you know, and, and, and that's not what it is in your area. So check in your local area, but 1300 bucks is the national average. So let's recap kind of where we're at here. We've got a, uh, Average rent, around 1300 bucks for a two-bedroom. I've got uh, interest rates at the time of the recording, uh, just over 6% on a 30-year fixed mortgage. And I've got an average price, single-family home, about $428,000. Uh, you know, we'll just call it four and a quarter. So $425,000 <clears> on the average price of the house, 6% on the uh, interest, and uh, about 1300 bucks on, on an apartment rent. I don't know about you folks, but I live in the real world too. So that, that gets to be pretty, pretty pricey, pretty pricey, pretty fast. Uh, whether you're a, a working family, a retired couple, uh, somebody who's just getting out of school, starting out on their own, maybe you have a young family, uh, whatever the scoop is. But you know, we're, we're looking at those and those are, those are stats. I mean, those aren't things that we can debate. So now let's talk about the mobile home. You know, if you never thought about a mobile home, let's talk about that. So the average lot rent, okay? Now lot rent folks, you, you'll see it on the channel. We talk about lot rent all the time. Uh, brief once over, that's where you buy a mobile home in a mobile home park. You buy the house, you pay lot rent each month for the usage of the property. <coughs> Excuse me, that uh, usage of the property is usually going to cover a couple of your, of, of your utilities, uh, such as your water bill, your sewer bill, your trash bill. Uh, a lot of parks will cut your grass for that price, uh, and they'll also keep up the amenities. So if you have a pool or a, or a dog park, something like that, gated entrance, it'll all be included. Your average lot rent for the United States, as of the time of this recording, is uh, $381, okay? $381. Now, again, folks, that is an average. If you're in uh, destination locations, um, you know, close to maybe the ocean, uh, or the desert, something like that, um, might be a little bit higher, <clears throat> but average, $380, okay? Now, let's talk about the price of the house, right? Okay, lot rent, great, Mark. What's that tell me? Let's talk about the uh, price of the house. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. We've got those stats too. Uh, average new manufactured property, okay? Average new one is $127,000 at the time of this recording. So 127 grand, brand new off the showroom floor, gets pulled into your um, lot or your property, you know, if you live out in the country or something. <clears throat> and uh, you have $127,000 on an average price. Average use price, that's where it gets interesting. Average use price. Throughout the country, 47,600, okay, 47,600. Now it's average, okay, obviously, you know, uh, cheaper areas to live in will, uh, will, will not make that average, it'll be a lot lower, uh, more expensive areas will be a little bit higher. So we're looking at 127,000 on a new one, 47,000 on a used one, average lot rent about 380, okay? So uh, that's kind of where we're looking at that. So, we're dropping knowledge uh, here today and just dropping stats. That's all we're doing, okay? So um, now let's talk about if you did own a mobile home, how would that work long-term? Okay, how would that work long-term? Well, I can tell you a couple of things, uh, and we've discussed this in the channel before. <clears throat> if you buy a mobile home for a long-term uh, investment, uh, short-term, you know, six months, a year, something like that, you decide that you want to go do something else. Real estate market changes, job changes, you get married, you get divorced, somebody dies, somebody's born, you know, what we call all the time life happens. You can go and you can take that mobile home and you can go and sell it, okay? You can go and take that mobile home and you can go and sell it. So you can go and take it, you can rent the lot for, you know, the six months, 12 months, however long you're going to be there, and you can go and sell that property <clears throat> back in the marketplace, get your money back. As we've discussed before, mobile homes, traditionally speaking, you don't make a lot of money on them, you don't. Sometimes you do, crazy real estate markets, you might make a little bit more. If you're not gonna fix them up, if you're just gonna buy it, live in it for a short period of time and go and resell them, it's usually a pretty much a, a, a cash pass-through, 
What that means is if you buy a house for, you know, the average 47 grand, as long as you don't bang it up too much, and as long as you don't fix it up too much, you're probably gonna sell it for around 47 grand. You're gonna, gonna get, get your money back, okay? If you compare that to your apartment rent at $1,300 a month on average, you're going to get that uh, $1,300 a month apartment rent. You're going to spend it. You're not going to have anything to show for it. And then when the... Um, oh, we got a light out. And then, and then when you go to uh, sell it, there's nothing to sell. You just move. Okay, so with the uh, mobile home, when you go and you pay the lot rent to have those items paid for, yes, I understand people are going to say it in the comments, well, you know, you're wasting money with lot rent. Here we go. Um you know, either going to be paying it in property taxes or you're going to be paying it in apartment rent or you're going to be paying it in lot rent. Which one do you want? I mean, I'm not a fan of any one of them, but it's reality. Okay, it's reality. So the lot rent, obviously, you're not going to get back, but you're going to be able to sell that mobile home uh, back to the marketplace to receive quite a bit of money back in your pocket. Whereas with the apartment rent, you're not going to see a dime back in your pocket. The other thing we want to take a look at uh, is... is you know, what's really the plan with this thing? Are you going to buy it? You're going to hold on to it for years and years and years? Okay, fine. Are you going to buy it because <clears throat> you're not sure of the area? You want to make a smaller investment initially and then be able to kind of move, uh, you know, once you decide when maybe your job changes, maybe you make a little bit more money, uh, maybe you meet somebody, maybe you don't, um, and then you want to change uh, you know, your life pretty quick. You can do that with a mobile home because you can literally just go ahead and sell it, especially if it's on leased land, <clears throat> and move on to the next stage of your life. So those are things that you really want to consider. So uh, should you consider buying a mobile home? Well, with everything that's going on, um, especially right now in the rental market, uh, in the real estate market, uh, in the mortgage market, uh, I just don't think you're going to find a better option dollar for dollar, dime for dime than a mobile home. Now, that's my opinion, um, and I think you should definitely do your own research, but if you're looking at what we said today, and you're looking at an average purchase price of a mobile or of a single family home, over 400 grand, interest rates over 6%, <clears throat> and uh, apartment rent over $1,300, and you're talking about an average lot rent of under 400, and you can buy a nice used home for well under 50,000, <clears> dollar for dollar, I just don't see where you're gonna see, where you're gonna go wrong with it. Whether it's a short-term deal, you know, six months, a year, two years, something like that, or a long-term deal, it's, it's definitely something to consider. So I hope what this video has done uh, for you folks today is been able to give you a better idea of exactly what's going on in the marketplace. We're not pulling any punches here. We're not selling any courses. We're not selling, you know, any houses on this video. We're just walking through, telling you exactly what's going on in the market and leaving it up to you folks to decide if purchasing a mobile home is something that you want to do. So I hope this has brought some clarity to you. This is Mark with The Mobile Home Dealer. Thank you so much for listening to us today on this educational video. Again, one more time, uh, folks, for you. If you haven't yet subscribed and become a part of the community, please do, do so below. We do the best we can to comment and answer all the questions that we can with our viewers and with our subscribers. And if you could, uh, if you could just uh, subscribe to us, like the video, share it, show it to your buddies, that would help us out tremendously, and we greatly, greatly appreciate it. Folks, this is Mark Kaiser with the Mobile Home Dealer. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. We'll see you all on the next one.